Well, welcome back to Hero Saga. Past this forest lies the capital city of our enemy. Let us move, Prince. And that speaks the truth. Let us depart. General Rodolfo? Ah, the rebels. I have faced you before in battle. It's easy to know the mind of an old enemy. I knew you would continue toward the capital even after our, your diversion came to light. Gah. I'm aware there is a princess among your ranks, but I'll ask anyway. Will you not surrender? Will you see now as merely a small portion of my troops? There are many more waiting in reserve. I... Even mere beasts can sense a superior foe and avoid confrontation. How can you call yourself human when you would throw away lives? The folly of pride. Lobo. I have seen too many tears wrung from the strong and weak alike by the Imperium. No longer can I stand aside and watch. You tell me you have already forgotten the lives you have taken as a warning to others. At first, my only wish was to protect my friends. But in our travels, I have seen much suffering and mistreatment at the hands of the Imperium. Even beasts will bear their things as a superior foe when they have something to protect. What can be more human than protecting those who cannot protect themselves? That is why I continue to fight. Not for pride, but to keep safe those that I love. Moved him too early.
shoot. Got him. Turn it.
still alive. Darn it.
Haha, win. Win. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. So you stood against the best of my men twice and emerged victorious. But not allow heroes to cloud your judgment. Our resources are vast, far greater than yours. I have many more men to send against you. I'll ask you yet again, will you surrender? Our situation is desperate. We cannot survive much longer. Fall back. I will guard our rear as we move. We must retreat and reorganize. Are you mad, Prince? You cannot do this alone. Of that I am well aware, Princess, but neither can we continue this fight. Lobo. General Ridolfo. She was so kind as to sheath your blade. I worry someone may be hurt. What, what reinforcements? The army of Valicia encircles these woods. Its forces outnumber your own. Would you not agree it's best to avoid unnecessary bloodshed? Ugh. Were our men defeated by Valicia's faint? No. It is an honor to finally meet you, General Rodolfo. I am Claudio Diaz, the Crown Prince of the Kingdom of Valicia. Crown Prince? Her Hermano? Claudio! Hold. Surely you know the third army of the Imperium is at this moment marching to Valencia. Have you have you abandoned your country and your people? Kingdom of Valicia was one of only a handful of countries that had retained their independence after the Valorous War. The king had lost his life fighting for his country, but his queen took the throne after his death, and with her two sons soon became beloved by the people of Valicia. When Prince Lobo left the kingdom with his rebel army, Prince Claudio publicly announced his brother and put his full support behind Gallia. The people accepted his decision, but worried for Lobo. Only later did Claudio reveal the truth, forming an army of people able to wield the Vera arms and declaring war on the Imperium. His decision was a popular one. Lobo's troops would head far, the c head for the capital from the south, and Claudio would remain in Valencia to protect the kingdom. And if your army can manage to win this battle, your kingdom will be brought to ruin by the Imperium. Well, it's a country if it has no citizens. The people of a country do not belong to the royal family. I am well aware of that. We will not put our citizens in undue danger. That is why I announce our unconditional surrender. What, Claudio, have you gone mad? Be a senator. Detailing our surrender to the Emperor, whether he'll accept or reject it is not under my control. 
However, until such time as we receive his answer, there will be a ceasefire. Are you here for battle or for not? It is imperative we arrive before the letter. We made haste across forgotten roads to arrive at your side. I am Erica, first princess of the former kingdom of Castilla. Prince Lolo saved our country, and for that we are forever in your debt. But if Val is joined here today, will that not negate your surrender? Should not be seen as low and dishonorable? No, Princess Erica. You may thanks for the help you have given my little brother. In regards to our surrender, please not judge the situation too, or Ashley. I have carelessly set the speed of our message. We shall not surrender till the day after tomorrow. Might I suggest we use the time we have efficiently? What a devious scheme. Thank you, Commandante. In a large pond, the small fish must always be clever. We cannot back down now, amigos. If this strategy fails us, Claudio, Diana, I am glad to see you again. But there is not a time for sentiment. We must make for the capital. Lo, the time has come. For Valicia. For Valicia and for all the free nations of the world. Ugh. Well, I think I'll call it quits here, and then I guess tomorrow, since right we're going, we'll be hitting up Magistos again. Maybe I'll hopefully find some better recruits. I found um someone with good um magic finally, but I haven't had a chance to level them up to make use of them. So maybe I'll pull them out next time. Till then, see ya.